Hello everyone, welcome back to our coordinator for tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about view parser class. Let us see what is the purpose of view parser class in our coordinator for. The main aim of this class is here to avoid maximum number of echo statements as well as to avoid open PHP, close PHP tags and short open tag and all guys. We no need to write any uh, echo statement to print a variable and all nothing required. So by using uh, this view parser class, we can almost all avoid completely the PHP tags and echo statements guys here, right? This view parser class introduce a new concept called pseudo variables. What is a pseudo variable here? Nothing but so if a variable is kept into curly braces, then that is called a pseudo variable guys. So what it is do, going to do, you know, the view parser can perform simple text substitution for a pseudo variable. How can we substitute some text to a pseudo variable? So we know already in the previous session, we have seen how can we pass data to a view in the form of an associative array, right? In the same manner, in this session also, we are going to see the same guys. But here, we are going to use view parser class. Yesterday, we seen how to load a view by using view method. We loaded the view. But in today's session, we no need to write the view method. We can use parser class to load the view. In this parser class, we have two important methods. One is a set data method. One is a render method. What the set data method is going to do, you know, the set data method is going to assign the data to pseudo variables and render method is going to render the template guys. Right. Anyhow, so we are going to write this uh, in a controller. This is an associative array key and value pair combination page title, some title page heading, some heading. So if you have an associative array, we know how can we access the data. That's what we already seen in the previous session. Right. But if it is a view parser class, we no need to write any echo statement here. Can you see this line number title here? The title page title, just I keep that associative array key into this curly bracket. This is called pseudo variable and this is called associative array. So how this associative array data is going to be binded to this pseudo variable by using set data method. The set data method was available in view parser class, right? Let us see guys, let us go with a small example so that we will understand exactly. And here, how can we load the view parser class first of all and what are the methods available in a view parser class to send the data to a view already we know how to send the data to a view yesterday uh, in the previous session we seen how to send the data to a view now guys can you come here this is an associative area i prepared here right and moreover i am ready with the parser instance the parser class guys this is how we can load the parser class into our controller once the parser class is loaded and we have to ready to send the data and data is also ready but this time i'm taking static data but in upcoming sessions we are going to bring this data from database by using model this time this was static now if it is a just a simple view guys echo view and we can read some view here right i'm going to write something called my view so is my view is there inside of it let us go to views folder and check it so my view is already there and open the file and you already written some data okay let me remove all this data so or else whatever it may be this is the, oh can you see now this is the way of writing data so this is the way of printing data into a view template that was we seen earlier but now what we are going to do you know in place of this we no need to write it guys simply we are going to use the pseudo variable this is called pseudo variable if a variable kept into curly bracket that is called pseudo variable that's it so but this key and your controller key should be same right yeah so let us go there and let us remove all this static data right so all the thing i am removing so here also let me write some heading here just I am writing something called coordinator 4. Here also, I am just taking guys, I am not taking anything right now here. This is also coordinator 4. That's it. I am not taking anything. Just this is the view. And we are loading this view. We already know how to load this view and all. This is our controller. Right. Save the controller. And something wrong. Semicolon is missing here. Okay guys. If we can call this controller test controller can you see what is our output here now you can go and check this your output is going to be here let me call the test controller and refresh it index method is calling what is the title coordinator 4 and uh, i mean page heading is coordinator 4 as well as page title is also coordinator 4 now here so this is how we know and you know already how to pass the data right so if it is a normal way we can pass the data like this to the view method but now we are not going to use the view method we are going to use a render method which is available in parser class 
so now the main intention is here guys this is your view file right this is your view file right sorry what happened right one minute please <coughs> so this is my view class what are the associative array keys are there here can you see these are the associative array keys are with me right these associative array keys are going to be like this guys can you see now what we are going to know here so let's remove these files otherwise so wait for a minute here let me remove this where is my my view this is my view right this is my view and this is our controller yeah fine now so how can we pass this data to these guys here whatever the variables we are having here associated keys right they are, they are going to be variables right here we can remove this we can just use a pseudo variable inside this we can keep that variable exactly in the same manner you can come down and page heading and you can also keep the page heading here now that's it guys now just use this and you can refresh it now if you can refresh it can we get the output here now you can't i believe why because we have to send we didn't send the data actually go to your controller did you send the data we didn't send it right to send it guys remember carefully we have to use two methods one is the set data method what the set data method we is going to do you know whatever the keys are there these keys are going to be substituted with these keys guys by using the set data method once set data method set the data we have to render the view so let us see how can we render the view how can we set the data guys by using parser object P A R S E R. In the parser object, we have a method called set data. This is a method. To this set data, nothing. Just whatever the data you have here, just pass this data variable to it. This. After that, so once data is sent, now you can write one more method. Guys, parser dot parser of render is a method in this render method we have to pass the name of the view to which view you want to pass it can you see now what is the view i have here my view just you can pass the my view here my view yes that's it guys extension is not required but it is going to be either written or echo statement you can use anyone you can write echo statement or you can write written statement also no problem now you can just refresh it now the pseudo variables text is submitted guys can you see my bo my block title and my block heading they are coming guys this is how we can substitute the data right generally the substitution of data is in three ways guys one is a simple substitution right and one more is uh, looping substitution and one more is nested substitution right let us see we i mentioned in the slides guys we can check in the slides here so anyhow so this is our controller data and the controller data we are substituting with our pseudo variables now types of substitution if you can see simple substitution guys always remember we can write this into the template within the controller also guys if you want you can write in the view also but remember the simple substitution is performed by the parser is a one to one replacement of the pseudo variables i mean if you have only one to one for example can you see block title and a value and not only this you can go and you can check this editor also can you see here this is page title and value what is the value here the value is a simply a string or the value may be a number also sometimes right in this situation we will go for simple substitution guys sometimes the value may be an array here or value may be an object also in this situation we have to go for looping substitution if it is a single record sometimes we have array of records array of objects then we have to go for looping substitution if you have only one record that may be an array or that may be an object then we have to go for uh, nested substitution guys here anyhow we are going to see in the in a minute please wait so this is how we are rendering the data into the thing now for example if you have records let me go i have a, i have an array here so let us take this array array of records i am having subjects list some array i am taking guys can you see this is the subjects list now how can i iterate this this is a loop right so now in this we have array of records this is going to be an array this array contain again record 1 and record 2 record 3 like this so how can we iterate them nothing but we are going to write a for each loop generally if it is a other case in the previous session what we have seen we used something called for each loop and we iterated the data but here we no need to write a for each loop but we are going to write an equivalent for each loop by using how we are going to write you know subjects list entries we are going to write such a manner guys all of you check it carefully here this is going to be like this subjects list 
open and subjects list close that's it guys can you see now will you believe this is your for each loop that's it you don't need to write anything your for each loop completed but in the middle of it what you can write you know we can take one h1 tag here simply let us go uh, h1 tag open and what is the associative array key here the key is going to be subject right this is the subject now you can just pass the subject inside of it into the pseudo variable this is my pseudo variable if you want to get the description also you can take a paragraph tag so what is the next thing we are having here a b abbreviation such a manner i taken here right just you can bind this here so you will understand the wonder can you see now that is going to be iterated a loop so this is nothing but this is an equivalent of your for each loop but we are not writing open php close php and we are not writing for each subjects as something like also we are not writing simply this is equivalent that is the advantage of a view parser class it is it is maximum avoiding writing echo statements writing uh, php tags and all so we don't need to write them so now you can see it is going to iterate the data check it please now can you see data was iterated guys html tag and this is how this is going to be iterated that's the advantage of the view parser class here right yeah so this is how we can substitute guys like this we have lot many things in the view parser class this is the official website can you see substitution variations here one is loop substitution nested substitution also we can see for example if data is like this we can go for nested substitution set data a rendered method can you see here they use the same combination we can combine a method on another method also guys for example here i written two times right so now what you can do you know you don't need to write one more time here simply you can write like this also right this is method chaining we can write like this also guys then this this is going to be written maximum we are going to try to reduce the number of lines of code so it is better practice now you can also check it now definitely you can see the output here also guys go to your browser and run the file so that you will understand can you see your output will be the same nothing difference is there so we we reduce one line of code by simply chaining the methods here that is also possible just exactly they mentioned here the same way i used there for example you have this type of data if you have this type of data nothing guys simply so this is going to be iterated like this i mean they're giving the output also the scenario how we have to iterate it this is going to be a blog entry blog entry contain only one record remember carefully i already told you if you have array of records or our array of arrays then what we have to do we have to go for looping substitution if you can see this is simple substitution only one to one only one value now if you can see looping substitution the point a loop substitution happens when the value for a pseudo variable is a sequential of array of arrays it may be an object also guys don't worry so whatever it may be the loop substitution is going to work automatically so now this is the same array i have taken there i iterated there now you can see the third one is going to be the nesting substitution i mean this is the example guys how i am pointing whatever the variable we have here that variable is pointing here page title and page heading the, just you can observe this diagram for a minute so you will understand how this is going to work and all right the mapping i just given a mapping for the for each and this subject is a for each and this is a simply variable and this is also a variable now you can go for this nested substitution if you have a simply a record so this is subject list is not having multiple records this is just one record there is an associative array then you can go for nested substitution nothing but you you can just copy this and you can just copy this and into your view file that is going to iterate the data if you have multiple records looping looping substitution if you have only one record you are getting that two associated then you have to go for nested substitution if it is a simple substitution maximum we we cannot see simple substitution may maybe also we can see simple substitution guys so this is how we can render the data into a view by using view parser class we can write some conditional statements also for example if you want to write some conditional statements here i am writing something called one variable i am writing uh, let us take something called status i am taking something called true this is going to be the associated with status is true and anyhow this is also an element right keep comma here now can you see so how can we get the status here so based on the status i want to display some records based on the if the status is true do something if status is false do something right so how can we write the conditions here inside of it if you want to print some message here so we can write statements like this guys if 
dollar sta to us status simply we can write this sorry curly parenthesis is missed right so anyhow what is the status value status value is true if it is true do something otherwise do something this is going to be end if so i'm i'm not doing anything just i'm writing end if we can write else statement also guys anyhow i'm going to take a paragraph tag here welcome to ci4 if the status is true then you will get the message into the front end guys can you see welcome to ci4 oh something went wrong we need to check it what is wrong here so if you are getting oops message then definitely there is some error is generated so how can we find the error guys if you find uh, if you want to check the error go to logs file and today's date based on the today's date a log will be generated if you can open this can you see there is an error guys i think so a oh, lot of errors are there last one you have to check it guys here just now this error is created so you have to check this error otherwise you can delete all the thing save the file and run one more time so the whoops file right you can run it definitely error is going to be recorded into the log file guys if you can go and check this is the error we are getting some syntax error just now the time is also giving some server time we are getting here so we have syntax error in our view parser tags guys what is exactly written here maybe something went wrong here we need to check it what is wrong inside of it guys right let us go there go to your code and check it what is the mistake we did here i think we miss we did two mistakes here this is not required i believe so and one more thing here and if is missed but it is a spell mistake and you can check it now you may get the output now guys can you refresh it now yes you are getting the output and condition is true that's why you are getting welcome to ca4 if the condition is false i mean the the value which is there here we set it true right now let me make it as a false now if we can set it the false definitely you cannot see that output guys can you see you are not getting it like this we can render the data conditionally also we can loop the data as well as we can render the data in a conditional manner also this is the advantage of your view parser guys so now if you can see your html template there is no open tag and php tag it simply look like a html only simply we are avoiding the echo statements and as well as we are avoiding open tags nothing but a php standard tag and short open tag yesterday we used some template uh, parser can you see data view there what if we written this is called some template engine syntax that we no need to write here so we can just go with the view parser class that is going to render the data into a template with the help of pseudo variables yes guys this is exactly how to use the view parser class into our coding editor for in the next session we are going to discuss about filters in view parser class so filter uh, view parser is not completed still it is there uh, in the next session we are going to discuss about filters how can we apply filters on a uh, output nothing but whatever the data we are displaying here on the data we need to apply some filters right let us see this session in the next session right thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section right